You've just seen the reel of, of flag pictures that we've shown. Um, is this proof positive that Biden deliberately snubbed the national status of Northern Ireland? Well, first of all, well done to your staff for spotting this exclusive. Um, it took a wee bit of diligence to find out what was going on. Yes, I do. I, I believe I support what Darling Foster saying. I believe this combined with the fact that he's refusing to come to the coronation and his re recent photo shoot with Jerry Adams would indicate to me, yes, there is a bias here. Now, Biden must have known what he was doing when he refused to fly the Union flag in the United Kingdom. So it was premeditated. It was clearly there to cause offence, and it has, uh, now that it's become public, courtesy of GP News. And I must say, uh, he's going out of his way to cause the maximum offence to the British citizens of this part of the UK. Yeah, I mean, clearly this was decided at the White House level. It's pretty impossible that he didn't know this was going to happen. And, you know, Obama, Enniskillen, flies the flag, yes. Biden up in Edinburgh, or Glasgow, rather, flies the flag. Um, I don't think his visit actually to Northern Ireland, I mean, forget, in a sense, his trip to, to the Republic. That's all designed for an audience back in America. Do you think anything was achieved by Biden's visit to Northern Ireland? Well, he's only here for 15 hours, and the total cost to the police service is £7 million, which the taxpayer in Northern Ireland is going to have to bear. He came, he made one speech. He, I could have written what he was going to say. I think it was absolutely, uh, could be predicted. And, and all he seemed to do is to put a mild pressure on the DUP to return to Stormont. But as you've said, this is absolutely nothing to do with Northern Ireland. This is about cultivating the 70, 40 million people in the United States who identify as Irish Americans. And this always happens leading up to the caucuses for the, in this case, the Democratic presidential candidate. He is simply there to try and appeal to that lobby. And really, frankly, Ireland, North and South, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is all about getting votes in the USA. And, of course, the Democrats tend to vote. Uh, Democrats tend to vote for uh, uh, pro-Republican viewpoint. So, therefore, I, I, I see this just as a cynical use of Northern Ireland for party political gain. And I mean, he clearly refused to, wear, to have the flag on his car because that would cause offence to many Republicans, uh, Republicans in an Irish sense, in the United States. Yep, and yet Obama had no problem in doing it. Final quick thought, if I may, Jim. Are we any closer to power sharing at Stormont resuming? Absolutely not, Nigel, and you have a, a greater insight than most. The reality is, whether Biden came or not, the DUP are absolutely right in not returning to Stormont as long as the protocol and the Windsor framework hang over our heads like the sort of Damocles. We simply cannot allow Northern Ireland to be a, become a subcolony of the European Union. We can not remain within the single market, subject to the European Court of Justice, still within the VAT regime. That is not acceptable. And therefore, we would be mad to use the only leverage that we have to, to, to set that aside and meekly tug our forelocks and go back into Stormont. This is the most important constitutional issue yeah. facing Northern Ireland since 1974, and we simply cannot bow the knee on this particular occasion.